controversial. <laughs> I don't know, what is a lot of inches of seam? Maybe like 14 or something? <laughs> I'm not going to start. Well, 14 would be over a foot, so yeah, that'd yeah. be a lot. Yeah, they'd probably snow in some doors or something, so I guess you'd close it. Just me personally, I'm not bothered by ours being open with the pole just because I just tend to take the routes that go through as many buildings and tunnels as possible. Well, uh, if it's dangerous, they'll go outside in general. Usually if it was like negative 20s, I would say close because at that point, you're if you stay outside for too long, it's harmful to your skin. I'm from Texas, so I definitely do not like it when it's cold. We've already hit that a couple times this year and not closed, so... I think the times where um, the National Weather Service issues wind chill warnings because it's going to be wind chills setting us to negative 25 to negative 40, I think that's definitely a good time to close because that's not safe for anyone to be outside. Sometimes it snows a lot, but all the roads are super clear, so it's not really a big deal. Um, but sometimes that's not the case. Um, I personally think they should probably close when it's an inhibitance to commuters because a good population of the campus are commuters. So when there's like obstructions in the road and low visibility, that's one big thing. Or like warnings or anything in regards to frigid or cold air causing frostbites. So anything that seems to be detrimental to commuters and or walking around campus in general, since it's a pretty vast large campus and people do a lot of walking on a daily basis, so that's my opinion on when our IT should close. I completely agree with you. <laughs> For safety's sake, I would be closed a little bit more. Think about how behind classes would be if we closed more, yeah. and how later we'd have to stay, or... Other schools are closed. Mm -hmm. We were literally the only ones open. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Like, How do they make up those classes exactly? Take away from spring break, probably. If it gets whoa, too much. Whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa. <laughs> that's that's the problem. <laughs> I think that the campus as a whole is doing the best that it can because the temperature is always very low here. And they did close every time it was cold, but then we didn't have class most of the time. I would say they do a pretty decent job because I guess I've received emails in regards to making sure that you're dressed warm and appropriately because of the frigid temperatures. Though I do think like in the, under those circumstances, the school should probably close, but they have kind of made a heat to at least try to do something, I guess. So. Um, yeah, they do a good job, but they could do, they're like at 80%, they could, uh, they like plow the quarter mile, but then they don't like shovel the ice on the steps for like, I like the gym. It's Oh, it's pretty ridiculous. I think in general, like obviously they don't want anyone to get hurt, um, so they're going to do their best judgment. I think problems will come in, especially a lot of times for students with disabilities. If you're going to class and your wheelchair gets stuck in the snow and you're stuck outside for a while, that's definitely not ideal under any circumstances. So how can our IT really help students um, who have concerns, who are afraid of getting hurt, um, and kind of take everyone's opinion into consideration. So I think that's really important. I mean, I, I don't think RIT is bad at it. I just think like they need to be able to, like they need to be more ready to just close schools. They, they can't just always be on the fence about it. They need to, there needs to be some days where they're just like, okay, closed. Usually the negative 40 ones. Yeah, yeah. Negative, 40. <laughs> negative 40 would definitely be it. It's just like it snows and it's cold as heck like here every day if you're not used to that by now, you're just, gonna have to get used to it for another like month and a half.